What's up, beautiful chicks? Today, we're going to talk about morning routines. And so this will probably be a quick one, but I'm telling you, these are so, so important. They can really pack a punch on changing not just how your day goes, but no joke, your entire life. I know, it sounds like I'm being dramatic. Like, how can this one thing be so life-changing? But seriously, it's setting the tone for how the whole rest of your day goes. And changing your life is just changing lots of strings of days all together, right? So there's lots and lots of benefits to it. I want to talk about those. And then I want to give you some really simple like takeaways on how to do it. Because I think for people who've like maybe heard of having a morning routine, they've heard of these big, long, elaborate morning routines, and it can feel a little bit overwhelming. And like, I don't have time for that. But I'm telling you, there are morning routines that you could implement that are one minute long that will change your day. So it doesn't need to be like, I wake up and I read my Bible for one hour and then I go to the gym for one hour and then I get the kids ready for school and then I get myself ready for work. And like, no, I get it. You don't have time for all of that. I totally understand, but it doesn't have to be that crazy. But let's think about this for a second here. So when you wake up, first of all, you already have a morning routine. You wake up and you do something. Okay. Now, maybe it's not something that you've even considered and thought through intentionally, but it's just the thing that you do. What is the thing that you do when your feet hit the floor? What happens? Well, for me, I go pee and then I weigh myself. (laughs) That's what I do. I brush my teeth. I go to the coffee pot. Well, that's what I used to do. I don't go to the coffee pot anymore. Making myself eat before I drink coffee. It's a whole thing I'm doing. But nonetheless, Like even if yours is as simple as just going pee and brushing your teeth or you go pee and then you go to the couch and you start scrolling on Facebook while you drink your cup of coffee until you wake up, like there's something that occurs, right? Most of us do roughly the same thing when we get up. Maybe it's different if you like have a day off versus when you go to work. Maybe if it's a work day and you have to be up early, it's like, well, I hit snooze five times and then I rush off to the shower and then I'm rushing around, right? And so think about it like this, like what you do when you first wake up, it's going to set the tone. So if you wake up and you're frantic because you're hitting snooze all day and you're jumping right in the shower and you're rushing off to work, well, your whole day might feel frantic, right? You just started your day in this fight or flight response. And then we wonder why we're all wound tight, right? But it's like, that's how we started all frazzled. Or if you start by jumping right on your phone and scrolling social media, and then you find that you're distracted throughout the day and that you're constantly wanting to check your phone, well, that's like what you fed your brain first thing in the morning. And so it keeps wanting to just like gravitate back to this, right? And so I think it's so, so important that we are like, are, we're intentional with our, with our first minutes of the day. And maybe all you have is minutes, okay? That's fine. But setting some intentionality, how do you want that to go? What do you want your vibe to be like? Do you want time to just kind of relax and wake up a little bit before you have to hop in the shower? Or do you want to spend time with God first thing? What what do you want to do? If you if you had pie in the sky, an infinite amount of time, what would be the first things that you would want to do when you roll out of bed? Right. And like, how would that make your whole day feel different? Your temperament, your patience, all of these things. Right. And so let's set some intention to it. Okay. So when I'm helping clients establish a morning routine, one of the things that I like to have them do, and I would recommend this for you if you're trying to implement any form of behavior change, is simply to visualize how you want your day to go, plan how you want your day to go in regards to the thing you're trying to change. So let's say that it's that you want to eat healthier. Okay, so then maybe before you get rushing around or you get sidetracked by your phone, you're like, okay, what am I eating today? What things do I need to grab? Do I need to grab my lunch to take it with me to work? Do I need to get up and make myself some breakfast? Like picture yourself carrying these things out. If you're trying to implement exercise, then, and you know, you want to go out to work. So then it's like, okay, what am I doing today for me? Oh yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. So I got to bring my clothes with me. So they're already in the car so that I can stop on my way home from work or else I know I'm not going to go. But it's thinking about like, what do I even want to do? How do I want this day to go? We plan everything else, right? 
And some of you run through your checklist the night before while you're lying in bed. Great. Okay. Go ahead and do that too. Um, so you can plan things ahead, but then when you wake up in the morning, picture yourself carrying these things out. Like that should definitely be one of the first things that you do in the morning if you're trying to change your behavior. Now, if you're just trying to start your day off on better footing, you don't want to feel frazzled, blah, blah, blah. What are your priorities in life? I would say if at all possible, if you have time, add that to the beginning of your day. It's such a great thing to do. So I'll give you a for instance. For me, like my God time is priority for me. And so I start my day every day reading my Bible. I'm not telling you that you have to do that. But if, but as an example, if I'm saying that I prioritize my relationship with God and my time with God, but then I'm not spending my day with him to start and he's just getting my leftover junk at the end of the day, well, then am I really prioritizing my time with God? You know what I mean? And that also sets my tone. It puts my heart in alignment where I want it to be. Now, y'all have heard me talk live often enough to know I'm not nailing this one, right? But me spending time with God in his word, in prayer, blah, 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 that helps me get my mind grounded where it needs to be to go off out into the world. And so what are you giving your attention to first thing? Are you giving it to the news? Do you turn the television on? I'm not knocking any of those things, by the way. I am a TV watcher. I have no guilt about it, none. But I don't give it the first part of my day because then I'm already like, I'm just numbing my mind, right? I won't, I'm gonna numb it at the end of the day when I need to relax, like put on some trashy show and let's go, right? Um, But to start your day, what sort of things do you want to experience? Maybe you're like, I cannot read first thing in the morning. So I get on my phone just so that I can wake up. Okay. Well, if you feel okay, whatever you're doing on your phone and it's just waking you up, then maybe you keep it. If you feel like that time would be better allocated to something else, maybe you swap it out. Maybe you don't want to read first thing in the morning, but you want something that's going to put you in a really uplifted mood. And so you have like a morning playlist. Maybe you listen to music while you shower. So maybe we're multitasking here, right? You got to get ready for work. So you have to get in the shower, but you have a playlist of songs that really like make your vibe high. Like they put you in a good mood. Maybe it's worship music. Maybe it's your club music. I don't know what it is, but what is just going to like put you in the headspace that you want to be in for the day. And then if you do have some major things that you're trying to stack in the morning, And I'm not saying that this has to be part of your morning routine, right? It can be as simple as I get up, pee, brush my teeth, spend five minutes in my Bible, like whatever your thing is. Or if you're trying to move more, maybe you just get up in the morning and before you go do anything else, you do a few vinyasas if you like yoga, just to get yourself your your blood pumping, whatever. You can go extreme, like Tony Robbins, I think has like a power hour. That's his morning routine. I'm going to butcher this because it's been like a decade since I've listened to it, but it's something along the lines of going outside and going for a walk, like a power walk. And he does like some breathing and whatever. I don't know. What what are you trying to accomplish? If you want to add something aggressive where it's going to take a long time, like a workout or getting outside for a half hour or whatever it's going to be which by the way, getting outside is a great one. That natural light first thing in the morning is really good for your circadian rhythm. Yes, I know my Midwest girls are like, um, Nikki, it's January. We don't have sun like at all. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I'm feeling it too, boo. I'm feeling it too. But there's usually a little bit of light, right? You can get that in your eyes. But if you need more time, then how can you allot that for yourself? What can you do at your bedtime routine to help you establish your morning routine the next day. And so see, all of this stuff comes back full circle. We won't talk about bedtime routines today because I want to keep this one brief for you guys. We'll just stick to morning routines. But the day before rolls into the morning. The morning rolls into the afternoon and then the evening, right? So here's what here's what I want to encourage you to do. Evaluate what you're doing when you first get up. Is it productive? Is it helpful? Is it setting your intentions? Is it setting your mind where it needs to be? If not, if you're not happy with your morning routine, what's like one so like super simple thing that you could add? Like that's not going to be time consuming. That's going to be like one minute. So maybe it's you want to 
like rattle off five things you're grateful for before your feet even hit the ground. Like before you even roll out of bed, you're like, okay, I'm grateful for this. My life is great because of this, blah, blah, blah. Like whatever the things are, you're doing some type of positive mindset work. Maybe you're going to get up and do a little bit of breathing. Maybe you've been wanting to get into meditation. And so you're going to do like one minute of meditating, just one minute. And then if you have bigger projects that you want to undertake, start, start adding them in. But the point is that how you start your day is going to significantly affect how well you function, your mood, your attitude, your ability to change your own behavior, planning and strategizing, like all the things and all those days combined together are how we change our life. And so to me, like a morning routine, oh, it just makes so much sense. So let me know, do you have a morning routine? What are the things that you do? Do you think this sounds crazy? You guys know I love hearing from you. So reach out and let me know what you thought of this one.